I'll take this way. Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path and soon you will find him. this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness, when you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. Indeed. The curse is still present, of course. Just veiled and at arm's length for now. Not a trick I can repeat often, but tonight... Tonight is different. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of... beauty and wonder. And with company to match. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Thank you. But even if we do find another way, perhaps this is the right way. The end fate wishes for me. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. One moment with you could sate me for a lifetime and prize the fear from my heart. I'm so very glad you came to share this with me. I know this is all unreal, but I created it for you. You must know that you're... you're very special to me. If things were different, if we were home, I'd have taken time to do things properly, to say it all better. But time is short. I'm in love with you. <laughs> That's a relief. It would be a shame to spend my final hours making an ass of myself. of a hermit for some time before I met you. Safer for all, but not conducive to pleasures of the flesh. I want it to be perfect. To bond with you in the way the gods do, intertwining our spirits in visions of the weave.
how about the perfect night in Waterdeep? Yes? Let's imagine how it would be. The scene is this. You and I stand in the room that is the center of my universe. Sculptures, the paintings, the walls enlivened by the spines of a thousand books. The grand piano plays the Lyrian suites all by itself, and as we look out beyond the arches that lead to the terrace, we see the weary sun take its daily dive into the sea. favorite spot. Many times, evening turned to night and back to daybreak once more while I sat here, lost in words. It's called The Art of the Night, and it details the first thousand nights of a newlywed king and queen. They turned everything they did into an art. The art of conversation, the art of taste, Time honored and newly acquired. The art of the body. The exploration and acceptance of the self and the other. The art of the night itself. They say we take a page from their book. <laughs> I'm many things, but Koi is not one of them. What do you say? Stars will be our bed. Come here. Why well, confine ourselves to the pleasures of mortal flesh? There's but one stitch in a vast tapestry. Let me show you more. ways to declare love, infinite ways to express it, too much for one night. But we shall try.
wanted to talk to you about our night together. Have you ever walked to the very edge of a great precipice and shuddered at how easy it would be to step into the void? Ever since Elminster told me of Mistress' expectations of me, it felt like I've been walking along such a cliff face. The great drop to nothingness never out of my sight. But you, you led me away from the edge. Without your words, your touch, I fear I would have saw purpose and solace in that void. You're reminding me what living can feel like. I had been hoping you'd say that. To be an object of pity. <laughs> but I couldn't live with that. I hope the end is much farther away than I had suspected. I hope that night meant as much to you as it did to me. And I hope we all have more time together. Together. Alone. I'll see that there is. Woe betide anyone who tries to stop me.